So, how do you feel when you get something special from someone? Something unexpected gift out of the magic. How do you feel? So, similarly, we have got something special for you. So, we are an education channel. So, the only thing you can expect us from is special equation. Yes. So, what are special equations? Let us see what makes them special. Look, we know that when there are a number of unknown variables equal to the number of linear equations, those unknown variables can be determined easily. Like there are two variables and there are two equations. So, we can just simultaneously solve those two equations and we can get the value of those two variables. But what happens when the number of unknown variables are more than the number of linear equations? In that case, the uh, unknown variables cannot be determined normally. So, these equations are the special equations through which the number of these unknown variables can actually be determined. That's what makes them special. We will understand from the question. Sam asked Bob for his birthday. Bob replied, take the date and the month of my birthday. Multiply the date with 12 and month with 31 and add up the two products. The sum is 452. Find Bob's birthday. So, Bob has given a very indirect reply for his birthday. Normally, nobody gives such reply for day. So, we need to find out the birthday. Okay. The, so, so, the solution is let the date be D and the month be M. Okay. As per the question, the date has to be multiplied by 12 and the month needs to be multiplied by 31. So, 12D plus 31M equal to 452. That's the equation that is formed using the question. So, now there are two variables in that D and M while there is only one equation 12D plus 31M. Now, what to do? This is the headache. So, uh, we don't want you to cry for that. We have got a strategy. The equation is 12D plus 31M equal to 452. So, the trick is to chart the values logically. What do we mean by that? Look, D is the number of days. So, D can only be 1, 2, 3 up to 31 because maximum 31 days are in a month. Okay. Similarly, what can be the value of M? It can be 1, 2, 3 up to 12 because there are only 12 months in a year. Okay. So, it means they have to be positive integers, not fraction because days or months cannot be fraction. They have to be positive. Okay. Days and months are not negative. You all know that. So, they are positive only and they are whole numbers only. So, they are positive integers. They cannot be fraction. Okay. So, if M is equal to 1, then what will happen in the equation? 12D plus 31 equal to 452. 12D equal to 452 minus 31 equal to 421 so in that case d equal to 421 by 12 but 421 is not divisible by 12 it will remain as a fraction so this possibility is ruled out it is not possible okay so similarly we have to apply the values of all m and d one by one but this will make it very lengthy so we need to devise a shortcut for that what is the shortcut? Use the options to work logically. Look, in a competitive exam, you will get the options for that. Let's see what are the options. These are the first option m equal to minus 4, d equal to 48. Second option m equal to 8, d equal to 17. Third option m equal to 10, d equal to 30. And the fourth option m equal to 13, d equal to 11. Okay. Now what we need to do? We need to rule out the options which are equal like the first option month cannot be negative so first option is not possible similarly for the fourth option month cannot be 13 since there are only 12 months it is not possible we have to consider the second and third option so let's try the option two so what happens when m equal to 8 and d equal to 17 we just put up in that equation let us solve for that equation 204 plus 248 equal to 452 now that matches the right hand side so it means that second option is the correct one okay this is the way to solve but what happens when the value is not given an option okay so what happens in those type of questions in that the tip is to try out all the logical values like 
Let's see the question. Samir bought two varieties of pens. The first variety costing rupees 17 each and the second variety costing rupees 10 each. Spending rupees 207 in total. In how many different combinations could he have purchased the pen? Now, the question is asking you the number of different combinations in which pens can be purchased. Okay, it is not asking you the exact number of the variety okay it is asking you about the combination so the options are two three five and four you, how will you hit and trial how will you carry out that uh, last strategy in that it cannot be done so we have to adopt another strategy for that we will learn something else the solution can be let the number of first variety pen be x and the second variety be y so the equation becomes 17 x plus 10 y equal to 207 because the total cost has to be 207 now we have to try out something else we have to try out the values of x and y logically one by one we have the standard equation 17x plus 10y so what happens if x equal to 1 then 17 into 1 plus 10 207 so 10y equal to 207 minus 17 so 10y equal to 190 so y equal to 190 by 10 which comes out to be 19 so this is exactly a positive integer it's a whole number and obviously the number of men can be positive integers only number of men cannot be not be in fraction okay you can understand that so obviously the number of pens can be positive integers only so that's the correct option so we got the one combination here let us let us look at for the further strategy the strategy is that we have to adopt some kind of shortcut for that because it will take a lot of time if we do like this so we have to figure out a pattern how can we figure out the pattern you have to look at this left hand side what is going on here okay so what i am pointing is that 17x plus 10y equal to 207 in that case 10y equal to 207 minus 17x so the simple thing is to figure out when RHS is divisible by 10. So whenever the right hand side is divisible by 10, obviously it will be a combination which we are looking for. So if x equal to 2, then 10y equal to 207 minus 34 equal to 173. We know that 173 is not divisible by 10. So it's not possible. For x equal to 3, the RHS comes out to be 156, which is also not divisible by 10. Next if x equal to 4 then the right hand side becomes 139 which is also not possible as it is not divisible by 10 if x equal to 5 then 10y equal to comes out to be 122 not divisible by 10 then another option if x equal to 6 then right hand side comes out to be 105 which is also not divisible by 10 let us further see quickly if x equal to 7 then 10y equal to 88 not divisible by 10 let's see the next option if x equal to 8 then 10y equal to 71 this is also not divisible by 10 see the next option if x equal to 9 then 10y equal to 54 this is also not divisible by 10 Next, if x equal to 10, then 10y equal to 37. This is also not divisible by 10. If x equal to 11, then 10y equal to 20. Now, 20 is divisible by 10. Okay, here the right hand side is divisible by 10. So, we got the second combination. That is, when x equal to 11. So, uh, that is the case. We are, so that is the case looking for. So, if x equal to 12, then 10y equal to 3, which is also not divisible by 10. Then x equal to 13, so 10y equal to minus 14. Obviously, it cannot be negative. Okay, the number of pens cannot be negative. So, we can see from this trend uh, as the x value increases, the value of y decreases, and finally, it has gone into negative. So, we don't need to go further. Okay, we have got two combinations which we wanted. The first combination is when x is equal to 11, and the second combination is when as we have earlier seen when x equal to 1 so only two possibilities are there only there are two combinations so option a is correct that is 2 that's how you will proceed in some in certain these kind of questions 
okay i hope you got to understand this question so the next video is about the more important aptitude concepts or you can see the level 2 which is basic course of special equations our entire course is divided into three levels concept basic and advanced you just have seen the concept videos okay for that you have to see the videos appearing over this the, the biggest mistake which most of the guys have committed is that you have not hit the bell icon on this channel after you have subscribed the channel. So please hit the bell icon otherwise you will miss out the important updates and the important videos. There is no use of subscribing a channel if you don't hit the bell icon. Also in case of any doubt please do comment. Thank you.